Good afternoon, my viewers. My name is David Chedozewenyi from Idata North, Idata South Federal Constituency. I am here with an experienced person in the National Assembly. He's going to tell us his name. Alantin has been here for more than 12 years. And in the area of legislation, he knows better than most of even most of the honorable members. So please, sir, can we meet you? Yep, good afternoon. My name is Honorable Anyamo Calistus. Okay, Honorable Anyamo Calistus. Please, sir, where are you from? I'm from Imo State, Okigwe, sir, precisely. Okay, sir. Please, um, why I'm here is because I want to know and I want our people, especially the people of Idato, to know what and what each constituency stands to gain when they have a ranking member. Are there challenges for a first-timer and are there gains for a second-timer who is a ranking member? There's a lot of it and a lot to that. One, in terms of uh, principal office position, new member can never hold a principal office. Even in committee sharing, yes. for you to get a vice chairman, there must be, there must, that's your leg must be uh, extraordinary long to attain yeah. to that height. Then, in terms of uh, legislative work, let me come now stretch to Idato. Okay. For example, because that is the focal area of your question. Yes, because we, we, we are known as the federally marginalized people. Uh, yeah, you might call yourself federally marginalized, but I mean people from Idato are the cause of being marginalized because they are using Igbo mentality. I must take my share, I must take all those. Exactly. Things that have been disturbing and disrupting the politics of this nation. I know when uh, uh, there's one honorable from there. Uh, Is it honorable Dean Badiwe? Uh, Dean Badiwe. The immediate past. Yes, I know the other one that I removed from the court. And a lot of them. You find out that there can never be a stability in that system. From that, from that angle. Because if you have a stable legislator, one, he will deliver the legislative work. He will deliver the attracting of projects, to developmental the projects. And when I said projects, projects that are developmental, not the projects that, that is to put on your pocket. Most of the honorable members. I, I went through the list of uh, Honorable Austin's project for 2017 only. I'm not talking of the other one. Okay. He inserted about 37 projects for one year. And 31. That is impressive. Now. That is impressive. Go to the issue. Just go and go. go. Any okay. Honorable member that have up to that project in his constituency. If it's not a key principal office, I'm not talking of principal office. Okay. Because people have heard that principal office, I don't know what they did. They only did that for their personal interest and their personal purpose. But it bent down, working from one uh, agency to another, making sure that these people are being accommodated. Even the area of employment. That's okay. why I found that this regime has been battling employment problems. But still, he still pushes people. Any slight information he gets, he push people there. And that is the, the, the work of legislature. The work of legislature is not to come and approve a approve a, a, a contract or you as people do speculate. Okay. It's to legislate one appropriate and oversight. If you have that three key experience, you will you are good to go. Of which I know that now Austin is 
well equipped about it. Calling in terms of principal office now is 100% capable and fit to be fit in any position. Talk of uh, area of appropriation, I, I, his record is there. You no need to, to be procrastinating or telling you this or that. He is there for you. And you talk of oversight. He makes sure he I visit pro project sites. There's one project that has been disturbing. Uh, in uh, that uh, Oba. No, we are on this road. At least I'm, I'm a witness to that. The day he invited both the chairman of that uh, Xerox and the other the people, company how doing they the were event. shaking in National Assembly. But he said, he told them that he's not there to organize them, but rather to tell them to go back to site. He is here for this. And he don't want to go and be giving his people excuse. He didn't know why I was looking at him and shaking head. That is the essence of a legislator. A legislator is not, is not to come here Possibly for his own selfish interest. He first of all say my constituency one, my constituency two, my constituency three. All his program is my constituency, my constituency, my constituency. So if you people will now start to learn from now that sending back a legislator who is well experienced in this aspect of legislation will do good to you. In that door. Because when you come, the, another person comes here this time and be answering them, I just like they will say, You people are marginalizing themselves. I think that's.